It seems we are approaching the end of this mass extinction event, and thus the end of both the Permian period and the Paleozoic era. What can you tell us about the consequences of this mass extinction event? I am the trilobite here. I, I think I'm the last of my kind. I may be the last trilobite left on Earth. So many other groups have completely disappeared. Gone, simply gone, are the blastoids, the tabulate corals, the rugose corals, the orthid brachiopods, many of the groups of mollusks, they're gone. So many of the sharks are gone. So many kinds of jawless fish are simply gone. The acanthodians and many primitive bony fish groups are gone. So much of the Paleozoic seafloor is simply gone. So much so that if life in the ocean continues, it'll be so different. The bivalve mollusks and the snail-like gastropods, they seem to be doing well enough. As are the crustaceans and other groups of arthropods, perhaps they have a future. But for so much of the diversity of the Paleozoic, there is no future. The Paleozoic sea life is simply gone. I am almost too sad for words. I think that I may be the last Pereosaur left on Earth. These tragic environmental catastrophes have destroyed so many groups of anapsid reptiles. They're gone and will never appear again. So many of the early amphibians are gone, extinct. So many of the plant groups, those lycopods and ferns and early gymnosperms, they're extinct, they're gone. The earth will never again see forests such as those. So many of the early insect groups are gone and extinct. If life on land continues after this extinction, the organisms will be completely different than the ones which have dominated in the Permian. This is the worst catastrophe that terrestrial life has ever known. The synapsid reptiles have certainly been hit hard by this mass extinction. The pelicosaurs, they're completely extinct now. The therapsids have been hit hard and their diversity is much reduced. Luckily, there are still a number of therapsid groups which seems like they will survive into the future. And in fact, one group of therapsids, known as the Cynodonts, appeared just at the end of the Permian and they seem to be hanging on as well. So although the therapsids may never again be as successful as we once were, it seems like some therapsids and Cynodonts, they might survive well into the next period. Let's hope that the future is bright for their descendants.